Have you been hearing about the Inktober challenge and have been wondering if you want to participate? Well, today I'm going to be talking about the pros and the cons for participating in Inktober. So 11 years ago, Jake Parker decided that he wanted to create a challenge for himself that he called Inktober. And every day in October, he did one drawing in ink. And after he did his drawing, he posted it online. So the idea is you do a drawing a day and then you post it. Those are the basic rules. So I'm Christina and let's get into talking about those pros and cons. So the first pro is, it's pretty obvious, in Inktober you can grow your skills. You can grow your drawing skills and you can grow your inking skills. Now that is really awesome because that will help your art making a lot. When I have participated in this challenge, I have improved my skills and learned that I can actually do illustration because from my experiences in college, I didn't think I was capable of it. I thought I was isolated to just fine art making and not doing anything with illustration. Now the first con is Inktober can become very quickly overwhelming. One drawing a day adds up to a lot. That's 31 hours of making artwork in a month that you're not already making probably, especially if it's super specific in just inking for Inktober. So if you miss a day, it's very, very easy if you have designated to do every single day and have a certain quality and not change anything, if you're inflexible, it can become so, so difficult to continue in the challenge just because it's very easy to get overwhelmed. I'm not saying it's not possible to do it, and I'm not saying there aren't ways to make it easier on yourself, but it is very easy to get overwhelmed. The first con that we're going to talk about is it is very easy to fall behind with Inktober. If something happens in your life, whether that's being late one day, some more projects you have to accomplish, maybe something happens that's very important to you personally that you need to address. It is very, very easy to fall behind because if you miss a day, um, and in the past I've missed more than one day, and you're allocating a certain amount of hours to completing each October drawing, say you're doing one hour a day. Now the next day, that's two hours a day. In your life that you have to allocate, but you aren't normally allocating towards doing Inktober drawings. So it can very quickly become overwhelming. So the second pro for participating in Inktober is Inktober can actually be awesome for learning to plan. This might not seem like it has anything to do with art making, but it does. If you want to make a daily habit of doing anything, and this includes doing a drawing a day for October, you have to plan for it. You have to change your schedule around and you have to make it work. So by participating in Inktober, you are learning how to plan for yourself and you can take that habit and apply it to any other part of life and it can help you exponentially. So if you want to improve your planning skills, participating in Inktober can really, really help you with that. Con two for Inktober. Like I said, Inktober impacts your planning. It impacts planning, your drawing, your inking, your posting. It impacts everything you're doing. And a lot of people like to take videos of their Inktober. So if you're going to that level, that's even more intense to do all of that out of your normal routine. So if you are not planning appropriately with a good amount of self-awareness and self-respect for what you need in a day, just in general, to maintain your emotional, physical, and mental health, it can be very, very difficult to do Inktober and can be very, very easy to get overwhelmed. But pro number three, in Inktober, you can develop a great sense of community. If you have friends or people you know online who are making artwork, you guys can interact once you've posted and support each other in the process because this is a challenge and it's so much more fun if you can do it with other people to support you and like encourage each other. It is so much fun to go online and see what other people are doing in October. However, this plays into con number three because Inktober can be a very isolating experience as well. It's the exact flip side of having a sense of community. 
There are literally millions of people doing Inktober. And if you don't have a closed group of people that you're doing Inktober with, it can be very, very isolating. Inktober has also become a way to distinguish yourself. So a lot of people participating in Inktober aren't necessarily there to reach out and support. And it's not their job necessarily to be encouraging everyone. But if you're looking for encouragement and stuff, it's much better to do that in a community that you already either have as a following or you have built a community with others. So just be aware if you are going to participate in Inktober, that does not automatically mean you are going to have a community of people around you that are going to enjoy the process with you. Pro number four, you can get in the habit of posting things online or you want to do it on a more regular basis, Inktober is a great way to get you in the habit of doing that because it's a daily thing. So you get in the habit of going to chink or scanning something and setting it up and putting it online. It can also help you get over a fear of doing that if you're a little nervous about posting online for Inktober. If posting online is how you've decided you're going to post your Inktobers, then you know you just need to do it. It might be scary, but it's time to rise to the occasion and you can do it. Con number four, Inktober can very quickly become a comparison trap. With posting online, it can become very easy to compare yourself to other people and how their drawing looks and how much they're getting in terms of engagement, how many likes they're getting on their video or drawing or whatever they're doing and compare that to you and go, oh, wow, I'm not doing as much or I'm not doing enough for Inktober or why do they have so many more of X, Y, or Z? And it can really become a comparison game. And there are ways to look at those sorts of things critically. And if you're trying to grow a presence online, you can assess what you're doing versus what someone else is doing. But it's also very easy to do it to a point that is not healthy. And I also have done this before. And it's very easy to get stuck comparing yourself and your work to what someone else is doing. That can be really, really discouraging. But also, if you're in that place, your work is awesome. And you're at where you need to be right now. If somebody else is 10 million miles ahead, that's fine. They're where they need to be in their journey right now. You just need to figure out where you are in your journey and keep going. So in the end, there's a lot of pros and a lot of cons for participating in Inktober. And what it boils down to is what do you want to do for Inktober? What can you reasonably handle? What are your personal goals for your art making? Do you want to have fun? Do you want to specifically have a purpose? Do you want to use Inktober to build something else? If you choose to do Inktober this year, I hope it's everything you want it to be and that you have a blast. If not, I hope you have a great October and that you get to enjoy what other people are posting online. This is all about doing what is best for you. If you want to see more of my videos for the Inktober playlist, there's going to be a card at the end. And if you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm doing, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. And let me know what you thought of, you know, this video and Inktober down in the comments. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Also, there are bloopers at the end, probably. We'll see. Bloopers at the end. Done. Done, 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 done. You are so cute, Luna.